Welcome back to our Dynamics 365 video series. In today's episode, we'll be diving into the world of diagnostics and troubleshooting in Dynamics 365. We'll explore the powerful tools and techniques that can help you identify and resolve performance issues, monitoring your storage, and diagnosing your JavaScript problems. So let's get started. So our first one on the list is diagnosing your D365 environment. One of the key tools that Microsoft provides is the Microsoft D365 Diagnostics. This built-in diagnostic tool is designed to help you diagnose and troubleshoot performance issues in your D365 environments. So let's take a closer look at its key features. It's got performance data collection, diagnostic analysis, and recommendations and suggestions, configuration analysis, and it also provides you with a diagnostic report. D365 Diagnostic Tools collects diagnostic data from various components of your system, including the server, the network, database, and the application. It gathers this information that is essential for analyzing performance. And the collection of that data then is analyzed and identify potential bottlenecks, configuration issues, or areas of concern. This analysis is based on best practices and known patterns for optimizing D365 performance. And after doing all of that, it provides actionable recommendation and suggestion based on the diagnostic analysis. These recommendations can include configuration changes, performance optimizations, and best practices to follow and help you optimize your system's performance. When it comes to configuration analysis, this tool examines your configuration settings of your environment to identify any misconfigurations or settings that may impact performance. It provides guidance on adjusting these settings for optimal performance. Then after doing all of that, it gives you a diagnostic report. These diagnostic reports are generated summarizing the collected data, analysis results, and recommendation. These reports also provide a clear overview of the identified issues and suggested actions to improve performance on your system. Moving on to number two, another powerful set of tools that can assist in diagnosing issues in your D365 environment is XRM Toolbox. Let's explore how it can help you troubleshoot and optimize your environment. So if you're not familiar with XRM Toolbox, it is a collection of tools and plugins specifically designed for D365. It offers a wide range of diagnostic tools and utilities that can help identify and troubleshoot issues in your environment. We have plugins such as the Trace Viewer. The Trace Viewer is one of the most popular plugins available in the XRM Toolbox range. It allows you to view and analyze the execution logs of plugin steps and trace logs. It helps you understand the execution flow, identifying errors, and trace the data passed to and from plugins. Another one that comes highly recommended or used by developers is the Fetch XML Tester. This plugin allows you to test and validate your fetch XML queries. It helps you ensure that your queries are constructed correctly and retrieve the desired data effectively. Another one that I prefer and recommend is the bulk data updater. This is a handy plugin for performing mass updates to data in your D365 environment and it enables you to update records in bulk, saving you time and effort when dealing with large data sets. Now moving on to number three, JavaScript on your form. So let's shift our focus to diagnosing JavaScript issues specifically relating to the forms in your D365 environment. Because sometimes you get that when you go into a form, it takes longer to open or it breaks without you even knowing in the background. Here are some tools and techniques to help you troubleshoot and optimize your form scripts. Dynamics 365 provides a built-in script validation feature within the form customization interface. It checks the syntax and references of your JavaScript code, providing immediate feedback on any errors or warnings. Leveraging this validation helps you to catch basic issues 
in your form scripts. We will go back to our favorite tool, the XRM toolbox. It has a JavaScript validator. The JavaScript validator plugin in the XRM toolbox is a valuable tool for analyzing and validating your JavaScript code in forms. It helps identify syntax errors, deprecated methods, or other issues in your JavaScript code. Another one that I often use is the one that comes with your browser. You do not need to install anything. All you need to do is just to hit F12, depending on the browser that you're on or the operating system that you're running. Because most modern browsers come with this tool. It is the Browser Developer Tools. It comes built in in browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and many more. These tools that are included in your browsers allow you to inspect the HTML structure, debug JavaScript code, set breakpoints, monitor network requests, and even view your console logs. They are powerful for analyzing and troubleshooting JavaScript issues in your D365 forms. And the last one, while we're still in JavaScript and forms, is console logs. Incorporating console log statement in your JavaScript code allows you to log messages and variables to the browser console. By examining the console logs, you can trace the execution flow, identify errors, and gain insight into the values of variables at different points in your code. Moving on to the last point in our video is storage monitoring. As your D365 environment grows, monitoring storage usage becomes crucial. Let's explore some tools and techniques to help you efficiently monitor and manage storage. Checking on your storage metrics in the Power Platform Admin Center. Regularly checking on the storage metrics in the Power Platform Admin Center provides comprehensive storage metrics for your D365 environment. It displays information such as total storage capacity, usage breakdown by entity, and storage consumed by each entity. This matrix helps you monitor storage trends and identify entities contributing significantly to your storage usage. And once you're done reading this matrix, you need to analyze that, which takes us to storage analytics in your Power Platform Admin Center. The storage analytics feature within the Power Platform Admin Center allows you to drill down into the storage consumption of specific entities. It provides detailed information about the size of individual records and help you identify areas where the storage optimization may be needed. And just as a bonus, while looking at storage, it is recommended or advisable to move big files into SharePoint, meaning that your storage for D365 is kept at a minimum because you won't be having large attachments in your environment. And that wraps up our video on diagnostics and troubleshooting in D365. We explore D365 diagnostics, XRM toolbox, and techniques for diagnosing JavaScript issues on forms and the storage monitoring tools. By leveraging these tools and techniques, you will be well equipped to diagnose and resolve performance issues troubleshoot JavaScript problems, and effectively manage your storage in D365. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that